Hey, it's Darius Clark, and you probably know me from my work with the CPA exam. But I-75 now offers EA review, all three parts, and our special right now is a three-part bundle. In this video, we're going to see EA Part 2 and a topic known as tax accounting methods. Get on I-75 and be home soon. A business that sells inventory is generally required to use which of the following methods to report purchases and sales? And the answer will be accrual basis. So if you see that a company's inventory heavy, they got to use the accrual basis to report sales and purchases. They could use the cash basis for other deductions. If a company has no inventory and they just do services, they can use the cash basis for everything. Which of the following is correct regarding a taxpayer's accounting method? A says a business chooses its method of accounting when it files its first tax return. And that's true. Is the business going to be on the cash basis or accrual basis? You tell IRS that on your first tax return. So letter A looks good. How about B? If an individual taxpayer operates several businesses, it must use the same accounting method for each business? No. It need not use the same accounting method for each business. The individual taxpayer needs to keep a complete and separate set of books and records for each business and may use a different method of accounting for each so long as the method chosen clearly reflects the income of that particular business. So let's go with A here because a business chooses its method of accounting when it files its first tax return, but an individual taxpayer who owns several businesses does not have to use the same accounting method for each. Okay, now it's going to get a little bit more sophisticated. The first two questions were kind of basic. That's how we do things at I-75. You got to walk, then you walk a little faster, then you run, and then you can do backflips. In October of 2021, Danielle, a self-employed cash basis taxpayer, performed dental services for a patient that has a women's clothing store. So Danielle's a dentist, and she performed dental services for a patient and that patient owned a store. In payment for her dental services, Danielle received store credit of $4,000 in 2021. Danielle uses $1,600 in 2021 and the balance in 2022. How should Danielle include the income? Danielle's a cash basis taxpayer. And as a cash basis taxpayer, you include in gross income items that are actually or constructively received. So when was the $4,000 received? Well, there was no cash received because Danielle didn't get cash for performing the dental services. She got store credit in her patient's store. And it says all 4,000 was available to Danielle in 2021. That's constructive receipt right there. Therefore, all 4,000 is taxable to Danielle in 2021. Even though Danielle didn't actually go into the store and use all 4000 in 2021, she constructively could have, and therefore all 4000 is taxable to her in 2021. What if she were considered an accrual basis taxpayer? Very unlikely for someone who performs services. But even if she were accrual basis, you'd have to look at when it was earned, and then Danielle earned the entire amount in 2021. So whether she was cash basis or accrual, the answer would be letter A, all 4,000 would be includable in gross income in 2021. Now this next question is going to involve an accrual basis landlord and a cash basis tenant. Watch how the accrual basis landlord is going to collect cash in advance. And the question is gonna ask, when does the landlord have to pick it up as income? And when can the tenant who prepays it deduct it? Daniel is an accrual basis landlord Barry is a cash basis taxpayer who owns a business in Daniel's building. Barry prepays his rent for two years to Daniel. The prepaid portion A is taxable to Daniel in the year received, even though Daniel's an accrual basis landlord. Yes, it's very important to know that rents received in advance are taxable even for an accrual basis landlord. So even though the rent hasn't been earned yet, Rents that are received in advance are always taxable when the cash comes in, even for an accrual basis landlord. 
So A is correct. B is deductible by Barry in the year paid since Barry is a cash basis taxpayer. No. Expenses paid in advance can only be deducted in the year in which they apply, even under the cash basis. Therefore, even though the tenant Barry is on the cash basis, the prepaid portion of the rent is not deductible in full when paid. So the answer is A. Now, in this next question, we're going to have an accrual basis taxpayer who wrote off some bad debt in one year and then collected it in the following year. And the exam is going to want to know, what do you do with the collection of a previously deducted bad debt? In 2021, Kelly had gross income of $100,000, a bad debt deduction of $10,000, and other allowable deductions of $47,000 on her Schedule C Form 1040. Kelly uses the accrual method of accounting and the specific charge-off method for bad debts. That means if Kelly's owed money, there's no deduction unless she already picks it up as income and then it turns out that she'll never collect it because a customer goes bankrupt because it says she's a cruel method and specific charge off method. Now during 2022, Kelly recovered 700 of the bad debt that she had deducted back in 2021. Remember it says in 2021, she deducted 10,000. Well, in 2022, she recovered 700 of that. How must Kelly report the recovery of the bad debt in 2022? A, Kelly must file an amended return for 2021. No, because this income recovered in 2022 is 2022 income, not 2021. B, Kelly must reduce her bad debt deduction for 2022 by $700. No. C, Kelly must include 700 as other income on Schedule C for 2022. Yes. Why? Because the recovery of an amount previously deducted as a bad debt is included in gross income to the extent that the prior deduction reduced taxes. And since the prior deduction reduced taxable income by 10000 the recovery of 700 must be included in gross income and it's reported as other income on Schedule C in 2022. So the answer is C. If you found this video helpful and you're taking the enrolled agent or CPA reg exam, Go to cpaexamtutoring.com and choose either EA review or CPA review. Get yourself on I-75 where the right teacher makes all the difference. Get on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, and be home soon.